Hello friends, welcome to this channel. In previous video, we saw how we can create, merge and then delete branches using git commands. Now, in this session, we are going to see about git tags. So, in this session, we will see what are tags, why should we create tag, when to create tags and then we will see how to create, show, public and then delete tags in git. So let us begin. What are git tags? So in git or in any version control system, tagging is a process whereby you can mark or create specific point in the history of our project or our repository. And this is usually done to mark some release points. Now, why should we create tags? So first to mark release point for your code or data and apart from that you can also create tags whenever you want to mark a historic point for your project or for your data. So now whenever you want to create a release point for a stable version of your repository or your project or whenever you want to create a his historic data which can be referenced at any point in future you can create tags so now let's see a very basic step by step guide on how to create tags in git so this is my git base and we have to first check out the branch on which you want to create a tag and the command is git checkout and the branch name so here i will say master and here i am already in master branch so now for creating a tag i will say git tag and the tag name i will say v 1.0 that is version 1.0 now i will say git tag here you can see the tag is now created this is how we can create tag locally. Now we can also create an allotated tag by using option A. So I will say git tag minus or hyphen A and then tag name. So I will say V1.1 then minus M and here some message. So I will say tag for release version 1.1 hit enter and now again if I say git tag we can see two tags are created so using annotated tag you can give some message and it also will contain all the information about the tagger and it will be stored as a complete git object in git repository so this is how you can create tags now we will see how to display or show tag so here i will say git show and then tag name so you can see it will show me the details of this particular tag so this is how you can display or show tag now our next step is to push tag to remote so in my gitlab account here you can see there are zero tags right because we have not pushed these tags so let's go to terminal or git base here i will say git push origin v1.0 but this will only add my tag v1.0 right so for push all the tags to remote i will say git push hyphen hyphen or minus minus and then tags now this should push all the tags to my remote repository and now if i go to my account here you can see the changes we can see there are now two tags now if i want to delete the tags i will say git 
a minus b v 1.0 it has deleted the tags 1.0 now if i say git tag you can see now we have only one tag which is 1.1 now let's delete this tag also so i will say 1.1 in place of 1.0 and again if i say git tag you can see now there are no tags but tags are still there on our remote repository right so i have to delete from the remote as well now to deleting from remote i will say git push origin minus d v 1.0 space and then v 1.1 so this should delete both tags from my remote so here you can see now there is zero tags in my remote so this is how you can delete tags let us now see what exactly we have done so i had check out my master branch and whenever i do any changes i will commit so this circle with the number represent a commit I have commit point one. I again do some changes or additions in my project, and I again do a commit. So this is my commit point two, and again this is my commit point three. At commit three, I think my repository is now stable, or I want to take a backup or a historic point at this particular location. So I will say git tag v 1.0 and it will create a tag v 1.0 and then i can push the tag to the remote server so this has created a historic point for this particular instance of my repository but i will still continue to do the changes so now i have done commit 4 i have done commit 5 and at this particular point i again want to create a tag so i can create a tag v 1.1 now every commit point has a number and this is a checksum let me just show you so here if i do git log you will see every commit has this 40 digit number this is called a checksum number and it is generated by a SHA-1 algorithm and whenever there is a changes or any you will do a commit you will get a unique checksum number now essentially this particular commit and version 1.0 both refers to the same state of the repository and this is how committing and tagging works and in real life you might have multiple branches you will check out merge and you will do tagging so the diagram may be a little complex but this is essentially and exactly what will happen when you do commit and when you do tagging in git so today we learned what are tags or releases why should we create tags when to create tags and then we show how to create show publish and then delete the tags so i hope you enjoyed the video and hope you enjoying this series if you have any doubt or any question feel free to ask in the comment section below i will answer you as soon as i can thank you for watching bye and have a nice day